So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal challenges plus 801 and Eververse in that order so that way you guys are aware for what's up for the week. I do apologize that I haven't been keeping up with this sort of content, but I have been losing internet just because uh, we did have a storm not too long ago. So our internet was down for quite a bit, but let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys. Remember, this is just for beginners. If you are a veteran, this video is literally not for you. So I do not want to see you comment down below. But other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to be looking at the mod collector, which is just unlock artifact mods. This one's not hard. If you're keeping up with the story in some way, shape or form, then you should have already gotten this way long ago. Uh, ritual ornament require or acquire any ornament for season ritual weapons. So I will show you which one this is later. Uh, gotta win them all complete activities in Vanguard Gambit or Crucible playlist bonus progress are granted for completing Vanguard playlist activities at advanced difficulty or higher or for winning Gambit or Crucible matches. This is pretty self-explanatory. Just do the playlist activities however way you want. Um, I would probably just do the Vanguard stuff like just turn my brain off and do strikes bunch so that way you could also get this which again I will explain where you get this later. But kinetic forces get final blows with kinetic weapons bonus progress for defeating guardians. So not hard at all. This one actually I would probably just do while I'm doing um, these over here. Yeah, so like these, I think you no wait, is it defeat combatants elemental damage? Never mind. Um, you could still do some of these, like for sure. You could do like uh, the dungeon one. The Grandmaster one, I think there, there's a Raid one as well, and then an, um, another Nightfall one. So yeah, I would probably just do it within that. But the so the weapon that they're that they're talking about specifically is gonna be the new Ritual weapon. So SMG, and I don't really care for it if I'm being quite honest. Perfect pitch. So this is the weapon that they're talking about. Um, I don't really care for it i mean it does have incandescence which is nice but i already have an smg for that specific reason which is my main bread and butter right here callus mini tool unrelenting inc incandescent i think this these two are way better so that's just me personally i don't really care for that smg that being said though if you do want to get the ornament and you're like i don't know how to get the ornament uh zavala lord's jacks and the actually i'll just show you real quick so that way you guys can actually get a better picture of it because again i'm assuming newer players are actually watching this so and they don't do a good job at telling you how to get it so first and foremost in order to get the actual weapon you're supposed to hit 16 if that remember yeah so rank 16 once you re or prestige uh drifter or anyone for that matter then uh, the next reward that's right here will actually be the skin, the Gambit skin. So each of them have a different skin. Vanguard will have a Vanguard skin. Shaxx will have a Crucible skin. And then obviously Drifter will have a uh, Gambit skin. So not hard. It's just one of those things where pick your poison. Like, do you want to do Vanguard? Do you want to do Crucible? Or do you want to do Drifter? Me personally, um, back then I used to be able to do Shaxx like easily. Just turn my brain off and go to the crucible playlist and just do that specifically like control and just turn my brain off or uh for those of you who are a little bit smarter iron banner is a really good way to do that as well so i think this week we do have double rewards not double rewards but like i guess it's double rewards here it is double crucible drops all crucible loot drops are doubled on wins i think that's also uh reputation but i could be wrong about that so yeah, nothing too crazy. I also did not expect to have a week 11. We usually, if I remember correctly, we was usually just week 10 and week 10 was the last one. So unless I'm missing something, I guess it'll probably stop by week 12 or 15. Either way, we'll see. But 801, let's look at what she's actually selling. So new age black armory, it is a dope shader. It's actually one of my favorite shaders. Um, just because it's such a good like black and red even though the black's not super black it's more like like a cream black if that makes any sense and then like this dark green for the cloth really really cool we have the mad monk which i definitely would recommend people to pick up because it is a really good black it's such a good black for your cloth which is why i always recommend this one and then war cult endgame which i personally really like this one a lot just because it's a really good white and blue but 
yeah that is pretty much it for the armor itself okay so the armor is like an og armor this is from like destiny 1 vanilla so this is an old very old armor set so for the hunters my biggest issue with the hunters is the cloak but helmet is super dope i think the chest piece and the helmet i think are the best pieces like for sure definitely get these two pieces arms i could definitely see people using because they are unique boots i'm not the biggest fan of the boots i think they look kind of goofy and again the cloak i my, my biggest issue is just like the neck like cloth just looks pretty bad on it um especially when you combine it with other pieces i really do wish they had given us a different version of this cloak because i think there's two versions of this cloak from that era but yeah let me know what you guys think about the hunters titans so i am not the biggest fan of your armor just because out of all of the armor that we had in d1 i think they chose like the worst one personally to be fair i i say that for the hunters and titans not so much for the warlocks i think they got really good armor but Helmet is interesting. The arms and the boots, I definitely think are very limited, at least for me. Same thing with the chest piece and the mark is kind of boring. Warlocks, um, so I actually really like your armor set. So I think the helmet is cool. I think the arms are cool. I think the chest piece is amazing. I think the boots are kind of on the boring side and the bond, I don't really care for it. And I know that sounds weird, like it doesn't sound like you like it. It's the fact that the helmet and the chest piece, I think are just amazing. Funnily enough, I don't think, I don't think, I think I mentioned this before, but the helmet, for the prodigal suit is actually an like the helmet is an exotic in d1 which always makes me laugh because it's literally the, that same helmet but yeah let me know what you guys think about the armor sets i definitely think you guys should pick all of it up just because you might never know when you might need it especially like even the boots to a certain extent for the hunters i hate those boots i've seen some cool sets with those boots so even if i'm like oh like i don't like it i would always still recommend people to pick up all of the armor because you might never know when a certain piece go looks good with a certain set so let me know what you guys think about Ada. Let's go to Eververse real quick. I was going to back up. I don't really want to do that. Unless the game is just going to be loading. So Oiled Algae, which I'm pretty sure they were selling this last week. Uh, we have Vintage Timber. So I definitely would recommend both those shaders. Because uh, I think, if I remember correctly, these shaders are inverted. So like where, where white is, the other one has black instead. So that's really, really cool. Uh, Summertide Kite. Moat Juggle. And then for the stuff at the bottom, we have Sudden Squall. We have Finned Shell. Does it change color? The water doesn't change color. Uh, hovering a landing. Yeah, this looks really cool until you realize that the colors don't change, which is kind of stupid. Uh, midway goer. I don't think the glow. The glows are weird, if I remember correctly. Like, which one's which one's like a, like a color I know? Like this one's supposed to be like dark purple. Okay, that it is dark purple. What about that? This one's supposed to be okay. So it actually shaders really well. Cool. Um, countdown. Getting shade. And then for the transmat effects, we have Cabal Shield Breaker. Shocking Entrance. Beach Ball effects. Refined Revels, this is a good shader. Oh my god, you guys definitely should not miss out on this shader. It is one of my favorite shaders. It's a really good black and gold. And the glow also is a cool like blue, which is super, super dope. Oh my god, I forgot this shader came from this event. Definitely pick it up. I actually might make a video on this shader. Regal Daring, also a really good shader. Oh, fuck. I for Dude, I forgot like these two shaders came from this event. I might make a video on both of these shaders because these two shaders are really, really good. Uh, Grand Luster, also a good shader. Jesus Christ. Definitely pick it up. And then uh, Oiled Algae again. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from 801 Banshee and not Banshee. Uh, 801. Who? Who else? Eververse and 801, I guess. And then let me know what you guys think about the challenges. So first, uh, this is the end of the video. If you guys want to leave, definitely leave. But uh, I'm going to be explaining a few things. First and foremost, I am still currently working on a lot of the fashion in the games. First and foremost, 
we're going to be finishing up the chroma cloak stuff for all of the classes unfortunately i kind of erased some of the things that i needed so i had to re get like re-edit it thankfully it's already done it's i literally just have to make an audio for it but this is already done the review is already up the shader video is already up as well so if you guys want to check it out definitely check it out but we also and our i am working on the chroma cloak sets which again like i said i've already edited i just need to do the voiceover and then that's pretty much it and then after that we'll most likely be going towards the exotics the new exotics uh the reason why you see not only this armor set but my hunter being a female which if you guys don't know my main is a hunter male is because i was getting footage for the new exotics so if you guys don't know i get the female in the male version so that way you guys can see how it looks on both genders and from there i'm gonna be uh doing like the rotations where you guys can see all of the armor so I'm, I'm already done all the classes already have the footage i just need to do audio for it so i will probably be uh posting that throughout the week so that way you guys can have more content because once i'm done with the chroma cloak stuff we will most likely be looking at the sublime stuff because this is man this is gonna be rough because currently the yeah currently the, the game does not allow us to just have the base look of the sublime set it's only the glow version which is very unfortunate because i actually hate the glow version i think it looks pretty terrible so like like i said uh yeah like i said in, in a, like i think in the uh the last call video I explained that the sublime set if you don't want the glow don't upgrade it because uh Bungie Stars hasn't talked I, at least I don't I haven't seen them talk about the fact that the sublime set kind of uh the glow goes over it once you unlock it which is very unfortunate because I actually love this set the chest piece is super dope like a lot of the classes got some dope shit even the warlocks usually get some derpy shit <laughs> the, her the helmet they got is super derpy and I will talk about it in the review but even even that set like i think the chest piece is dope i think the boots are cool arms are cool fucking the bond is pretty dope it's just the fact that this helmet looks super derpy dog like super sidekick type of shit and again it's very unfortunate that they have this glow i really hope someone at bungie kind of realizes like oh wait we don't have just the base look of it and then they give us that because if that's the case if they do give us just the glow or just without the glow then this is going to be a really cool event because uh, I think this armor is really, really cool. So, yeah, I'm going to be working on the review video for this, which is probably going to have the glow as well. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get the glow from the store, probably, because I do have enough uh, bright dust to get it all. But I also don't want to waste my bright dust on armor set that I don't really care for. So I'm still up, to, up on the fence on that one. But, yeah, we're going to be doing the review plus the shader plus the class specific videos. And then after that, I pretty much have open availability for anything I really want, which probably will, I'll probably start opening up, opening up to more things. So specifically, I want to start actually playing more video games because Destiny 2, um, just playing this is kind of tiring. So what I probably will do is just start playing like a lot of the content, my backstock, so to speak, specifically like. For my, for my Steam, I have a bunch of stuff that I'm already, like, kind of heading towards, I guess. The first Descendant I was thinking about doing, because one of my... One of my viewers asked me to do it, and I, I tried to do it. It's not my cup of tea, honestly. It's the worst pieces of Warframe and Destiny 2 and all the other things. Plus, on top of it being a Korean game, I'm not... I don't really have the biggest trust with Korean games, because Korean games usually are pretty terrible um terribly monetized and terribly just the way you level up is basically like oh yeah um here is this leveling up system but you only have like a 20 percent chance to actually upgrade and if you don't upgrade then you lose all that material um i don't want to do that again so it's like the first channel this is the stuff we're going to be doing for the main channel which is this one right here destiny 2 elder scrolls and warframe plus uh world of warcraft and final fantasy 14 now i'm adding elder scrolls because i want to see how the fashion of this game looks because i know that you can dye your armor and i want to see how cool it, like how in-depth it is uh, warframe obviously because the game is super dope and yeah like fashion wise probably the best one if i'm being honest aside from 14 because i i think 14's fashion is amazing as well but this one it's it's other level um and while honestly i think 
the only reason I want to add WoW is because I do like the fashion in that game and the fact that they actually have like more fashion like content considering they have like a fashion contest in game that you can win it's really cool so I will start adding like all these games that I really want to do that because Destiny 2 aside from the whole just negative thing about everything that's happened in Destiny 2 plus Bungie I want to just add more just to have more variety and I also want to have the second channel where I play other games and I want to have another channel where it's just like the long formats of the games that I'm playing so there's a bunch of stuff that I'm going through my mind right now and I still am thinking about here and there of what I'm gonna do but that's currently what's on my head I'm also still annoyed that I still haven't posted or done my discord but I just don't have a lot of time right now so let me know what you guys think I appreciate you guys be safe I will see you guys later